helps students review and study material by creating personalized flashcards in seconds based on any topic, text, website, or file. Let's walk through how to use EdCafe AI to instantly generate flashcards and even turn them into a review game using ClassPoint. To quickly generate these flashcards, and I mean quickly. Did you see that? Done. We're going to be using the free website EdCafe AI, an all-in-one AI teaching assistant specifically for educators to help them create personalized, high-quality teaching materials without needing to be tech-savvy or spend hours planning. We're just going to go to EdCafe AI and create your account for free. So once you've created your account, we can click on create new and then click on the flashcards tool. From here, you can choose if you want to create your flashcards based on any topic by pasting in a text, adding in a web page, or uploading a file. Today, we're gonna upload the PowerPoint file from our unit that was all about volcanoes. So you can either click to browse on your desktop or we can also quickly just drag in our file from our desktop. Then you'll see that EdCafe offers lots of different templates for you to create your cards. Do you want to just ask your students terms and definitions, differentiate between true and false? You can also have them answer any questions. So either way, you have lots of different options or you can also just define your own with this custom option here. Today, we're just gonna go with the tried and true term and definition flashcards, and then you can adjust your front and back of the cards. This front looks good, we just want to include those terms, and then in the back, let's add in that we want to include an example or a real world reference on the back of those cards as well, with, as long with the definition. So next, we can add in our number of cards. We'll just select 10, and then we also have the option to add images to our cards. So let's add in some images to go along with our terms on the front here. And then finally, we can select our language if you need something else, and we can generate those flashcards. So EdCafe will automatically begin generating those flashcards and you can go through and review them and edit them. So all of the text on both sides of the flashcards along with these images are completely editable. So you can click on that pencil icon and this is just a regular Google search. So you can select a different image if you prefer. You can also use an AI image or upload one from your desktop. Another really neat feature of EdCafe's flashcards here is that you can also add audio to those cards. That way, if students are unfamiliar with any of those terms, they can listen to them. And this is also really helpful for any of your language learners in your classroom. So because I chose English here, we have lots of different um, accents for English. You can give them a quick listen. And if that preview sounds good, you can select that voice. And when we save our file here, the audio will all be automatically added and then we can share it with our students. So let's give our file a name and then we can save it in our library. That way we have easy access in the future if and when we want to share it with our students again. To share with our students, we can share it digitally with them by clicking on this assign key. So students can scan this QR code to open up the flashcards, or you can share it with this embed code into your LMS or by sharing via Google Classroom or Microsoft Teams. Otherwise, you can also copy this link and share it with them that way. And once students open it up, they'll be able to review all of the cards. That way they can just get a little bit familiar with them before they test themselves. Then you can see that students have different study options depending on their study um, preferences there. So students can either shuffle up these cards, they can auto play the sound of that audio that we added in, or they can swap the front and the back so that way the definition is on the front and the term is on the back. Let's just shuffle up these cards and now we can do a quick preview. So we see that image, that term, and then we can flip the card over to review that definition and listen to the audio on both sides. When, if students know the card, they can mark it as I know, or if they didn't get it correct, they can mark it as still learning. And as students go through these cards, each one um, will be repeated until all of them are marked as I know. So as we're getting to the end here, that one that we marked as still learning before will appear again. So we can mark that um, as I know, and then students will just get that quick preview there. 
of all of their responses and then can review those cards again one more time. So in addition to sharing this digitally with your students, you can also export these cards for a fun in-class activity. So back on the teacher side, we can select export and we'll want to download as a PowerPoint file. That way we can turn these cards into a fun review game using ClassPoint, an interactive teaching add-in for PowerPoint. Once downloaded, let's open up that PowerPoint file so that way we can add the class point buttons to our slide so that way our students can interact and we can even compete with a leaderboard. So this works best with the multiple choice questions for your true false flashcards or a fill in the blanks question with our term and definition flashcards like we have too. But otherwise the short answer in WordCloud could also be good question types for different options. So let's go ahead and add some fill in the blank questions to our slides. So we'll just select fill in the blanks here. And we're gonna do this on the slide with the definition. And we have one blank and it does have a correct answer. And we'll use our correct term for that correct answer. So this one is rock cycle. And then in addition, let's first spell that right. There we go. And in addition to the fill in the blanks questions that we've added in. I will also do an example of the multiple choice. So I also created some flashcards for true false. So let's just go ahead and select both of these and we can paste them in on this side. And we will add a multiple choice question to our um, statement, our true false statement here. So we can add multiple choice and we'll have two options. So a false and a true option. So we'll allow select a multiple choice. And let's also go ahead and just add in an A and a B option for our students so they know which one is true and which one is false. So we can add in A is true and B is false onto our slide. We'll delete that definition and then, or that correct answer explanation. And then for our correct answer here, we have B. And then if you want ClassPoint to automatically award stars to your students, if they get this correct, we can turn on quiz mode and select the number of stars by difficulty level there that will be awarded. So once you've added the questions to all of your slides and you're ready to begin this review game in class, we can go into our PowerPoint presentation mode. From here, students can join into your class. So you can click on this class code and students can join in at classpoint.app. So to find out more information about having students join and all of that good stuff, take a look at the video linked up above. And I'll just quickly go through so you guys can see how this is done. But once all the students are joined in, we can click on our interactive button and students can begin responding to the question. Once all of those responses are in, you can close this submission and we can do a quick review. So you can see that with the fill in the blanks question, because we marked that um, question correct and incorrect, and we have a correct answer, all the students that submitted Rock Cycle did get it correct. So we can show that correct answer. We have a really great percentage rate here, and we can award stars to all of our students who got that question correct. Then let's just go through that true and false question. And again, clicking on that button, we're able to see those live responses come in on our screen. We can close it when we're ready. And because this was a quiz mode question, automatically awarded stars to those three who got it correct. We'll just add on another one there for them. And now we can check out our leaderboard to see our students um, where they lay. And that adds just a little bit of motivation and competition when they're doing this review game. So we have our leaderboard here. It looks nice. Bert is doing the winning here. It looks like we have a three-way tie. In addition, after this review game, you can also share that Ad Cafe file of those flashcards like we did in the previous step with them. So in that way they can review all of the cards again and really get prepped for an exam or a test that's coming up soon. And that's it. With Ad Cafe AI, creating personalized flashcards is no longer a chore. It's a one-click process. And with ClassPoint, you can turn those cards into a fun classroom game that students will love. I hope this video helped you and you can use these tips in your classroom. Please don't forget to turn on those notifications and hit that subscribe button. That way you stay updated with all the latest ClassPoint, Ad Cafe, and any other AI and EdTech tips for your classroom. I'll see you in the next video.